Okay. I didn't know what my time limit is on this channel, so I wanted to cut it short before it cut me off. Um, so as I said, I'm 21 weeks and 5 days. Um, things that I've been experiencing lately. Um, runny nose like crazy. Stuffy nose sometimes. Extreme chap lips. Oh my goodness. The, what is it called? Carmex? The little yellow tubes with the red cap. I go through like... I think I just went through like a whole tube within like a week or two. I wake up in the morning and I feel like a little dry, but then I yawn and I split my lip in the corner. Like lately it's been this side. Ouch. <laughs> I think I just heard it again. But like sometimes it's like this side and one time I had it in the middle, but it's usually on the side and it's when I yawn. So like I always try to keep an extra one next to my bed so that when I wake up in the morning, before I do anything, before I even get a chance to yawn, I'm going to yawn because I have to keep saying yawn. Oh, excuse me. Ouch. Did hurt it. Uh. Um, but yeah, before I even have a chance to do that, <laughs> I put the uh, the ch the Carmex on. Um, stuffy nose, as I said, I get headaches, but it's not as often as I used to get them. However, my medicine Zofran, it says in the bottle it may cause headaches, and usually anytime I take it, which I have to take it every single day. Um, gives me a headache, but the last couple days I think I've been okay. Um, if anything, it's just like a slight headache, but there were times before where like it hurt so bad to even blink my eyes. Um, I'm trying to think here. Other symptoms. Being tired all the time. I don't want to keep saying that word because I'm going to yawn again. I'm trying not to yawn. Um... I don't know. I did actually Zumba for the first time since like November 16th, yesterday, um, Sunday, because it's about to be Tuesday, probably by the time you guys watch this, but yeah, I did Zumba um, at my house, probably only like 45 minutes of it, but it's funny because before when I was like actually in shape and I would go to Zumba and stuff, like, I don't know, like I was just, when I was pregnant, I was just so tired, like. I was so out of breath. I'm so out of breath now, like, even just walking to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> but, excuse me. Um, it was weird. Like, I was a little out of breath because I was working out, but it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Like, I was like, man, I'm better five months pregnant than I am not, like, you know, not not pregnant, but, you know, two months pregnant. And I thought, you know, since I was, like, you know, one to three months pregnant and I was Zooming all the time, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? It wouldn't really affect me or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I hate to keep doing that. Um, you will find out that when you're pregnant, depending on, I think it depends on what week you are, but your, uh, mucus, mucus glands, I think that's what it is. No, hold on. I don't know if it's your sinuses or your mucus glands or what it is, but something loosens up. And, like, for a while you have, like, all runny nose, and then, like, eventually it'll just get really stuffy and you'll think that you're sick but it, you're not it's just you know your hormones and stuff um I get random hiccups like all the time like sometimes I'll just get like one and it's really loud and I will have another one for like five minutes twenty minutes maybe an hour later and like everybody just peers over their cubicle and they're like are you okay and I was like yeah I'm fine <laughs> and like they're totally used to it by now but it's just embarrassing and I'm always like oh, excuse me <laughs> really loud um another thing is just random burping like I'll just be in the middle of talking and I leave a lot of voicemails at my job you know I I sit at a desk at a cubicle all day and I just call people for eight nine hours however long I'm there and um what should we call it like it's like I don't even know like just talking to people sometimes or even in the middle of leaving a message thank god for the mute button because sometimes I have to like burp right in the middle or like I try to like, just hold it in or just breathe really deep and just be like okay I can make it just really like, a couple more seconds and then I could hang up the phone and then I'll you know do what I got to <laughs> um the whole flatulence thing doesn't bother me I have three brothers so like it's kind of cool to fart in my house so I love farting I'll say it bam I love farting <laughs> so the extra gas doesn't really bother me. Um, one thing I did notice that I actually had to start taking Tums for, 
I don't know if it's acid reflux or if it's um, the heartburn that everyone's talking about. I know that when I was heavier, I lost like 50 pounds from doing Zumba and then 25 from morning sickness from my awesome son. Um, but I know when I was heavier, I had acid reflux like all the time. And I don't really know if it's like me eating anything different. I don't. Th I think I pretty much still eat the same things. Um, aside from lunch meat. I really miss lunch meat. Like, after I have the baby, I'm so eating lunch meat. You know, as long as you can eat lunch meat when you're breastfeeding. But oh my gosh, I would die for like a bologna and cheese sandwich. A little bit of mustard on the bread. Nice kosher dill pickle. Yum. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just crazy right now. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm always crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've been eating anything different. But, uh, you know, it's because, like, that little burning feeling in your chest. Like, where your cleavage starts or where your, if you don't have a cleavage, like, your tip top of your sternum. Ha ha ha, you just kicked me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, like, right there, the tip top of your uh, sternum. And... I don't know, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't really do anything. So I just take Tums, like, whenever I am eating anything that might be, like, extra acidic. Um, or, I don't know, like, whenever I just feel, like, start to feel it come on, you can only take two Tums a day, like the calcium ones. So I just take one, and then I just take one in a plastic bag with me to work with whatever else. Um, I am trying to be better because now I have this new job, and, you know, it's an office job, so there's vending machines, and there's all kinds of things that you really should not be eating. I try to do better and I've been like cutting myself some cucumbers and some strawberries and I just bought some fresh um, squash so I can make some steam squash and bring that into work and uh, I don't know like I just bought some yogurt and see it didn't even make it to work and I was really sad because the peach play is so good and they don't even have any and then I was even more mad because I bought it at ShopRite and like I bought I forgot what flavor it was. It was one that I never tried before and I was so excited to try it. Come to find out, it expired January 7th. You know what day I bought it on? January 7th. And I didn't find out until after I got home. And like, I'm really weird with my milk and my milk products. Like, even with my eggs. Like, I will not eat anything within three days of the expiration date. Sometimes two. But like, if my milk expires the 15th, after the 12th, I'll just give it to somebody. Or like, the 13th, Maybe. Maybe. Depending. Because there's no such thing as smelling milk. Because to me, it always smells gross. And that's pregnant or not pregnant. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I'm not a big drinker, so I don't really miss drinking that much. Um, there's been times where I'm like, man, I need a margarita. <laughs> and, like, I really wish I could have just the smallest Jolly Rancher right now. Or just a little cup of Blackberry Merlot. <laughs> just something. By the way... Arbor Mist, Blackberry Merlot, thumbs up. That stuff is so good. Even if you're not a wine drinker, even if you don't like alcohol, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And whenever I'm not breastfeeding or pregnant, I'm so going to have some. Even if it's just a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, I do have a picture of his face. I think I showed that the other day. If I didn't... Now that I think about it, I don't think I did. Um, by the way, um, I know a lot of people were asking, you know, when did you first feel him kick? My first time I felt him kick was December 5th. I don't have the math all worked out, but I would say that I was between 15 to 16 weeks. Because if December 30th was at some point of my 20th week, And I'm almost 22 weeks now. So yeah, it had to be around the 16th week. So whatever December 5th is, you can figure it out for me if you'd like. <laughs> um, today is Monday, January 9th. And as of today, right this very minute, I am 21 weeks, 4 days. But in 10 minutes, I'll be 21 weeks, 5 days. That's why I said 21 weeks, 5 days, because... I talk a lot. I know I do, so. 
thanks for listening the whole time if you listen. <laughs> I know I kind of go in circles, but it's just because it's so hard for me to like, there's just so much going on and my mind is so like, blah, 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 blah. it's hard to like keep up. And like, I'm really smart, but for some reason, like I just swear that pregnancy makes you stupid. I forget like the really ridiculous, most ridiculous things at work. Like, I forgot my name at one point. This wasn't at work, but I really did forget my name. And I'm like, who does that? It's, I guess, all the blood and smartness is going to the placenta. Someone said they call it placenta brain, so that's what I call it. Um, I call it blonde moment, only now I'm pregnant. And it's not that I can't dye my hair. I totally can. Um, but I have very frail hair. And if you look at some of my older videos, my hair is actually a lot shorter. Ooh, I can't even show you. Um, and then if you look at some of my older, older videos on my old um, Jenkins IVF Diaries channel, my hair used to be like to my hip. And it got short by getting a really bad haircut. Um, that the lady said that, oh, it'll make your hair grow so much faster. Yeah, she cut it. She gave me like a mullet. And then uh, it didn't grow. And then... After she gave my mullet and I was dyeing it, every time I dyed it, I lost like a half inch of hair. And I would have to dye it, you know, at least once every month, once every six weeks to keep up with it because it's hard to keep up with platinum, like white hair. And I love my hair white. If I can get like white, white, it'd be awesome. It's actually like a yellowish blonde, but the I have a mega light on top of me. <laughs> my little claw lamp. So, um... Yeah, I'll dye it, like, I guess a week, maybe two weeks before he's due so that I don't look so terrible during labor. Not that he's going to care. But, I mean, come on, ladies. I know you all, you all bring, like, some type of makeup to L&D. I know you do. It's okay, don't lie. <laughs> I saw some before putting on, like, complete smoky eye. And I'm like, I don't think I could do all that. But I just keep it simple. I just do a little eyeliner, some lip gloss. I'm good. This takes, like, not even three minutes to do. That's what I wear every day. Other than that, it's pretty much natural. Oh, another symptom that's so not fun. Breaking out like you're 16, unless you are 16, then I don't feel bad for you. Not because you're 16 and pregnant. That's cool. I totally, like, I'm all for, like, having kids when you're younger. But, like, my face is so, like, bleh. Like, right now... Actually, my friend came over today, and I haven't seen him in, like, months. He's like, man, your skin is so clear. I'm like, seriously? Like, you can't see it. But I had, like, a, a pimple here. I, like, I'm picking things off my face all the time. I, everything is so greasy. Like, ugh, it's so gross. And I was breaking out a lot before, but right now, I guess maybe I'm just having, like, a down week. Which I'm not complaining about. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> but it's just, like, ugh. Um, oh, I wanted to go back to the whole kicking thing. I felt him kick the first time December 5th, and it was, like, once, and I was like, was that? And then it was, like, two seconds later, it was like, boom, right again. I was like, oh! I was like, oh my gosh, I know. I just knew it was him. I knew it was him kicking. And it was, ah, uh, it was amazing. And, um, I still didn't feel his every kick after that. There was times where she had a Doppler on my tummy, and she's like, oh, he just, he just kicked. Did you feel it? And I was like, no felt really sad and um I'm trying to think I think I felt it like maybe a couple times that first week of December 5th and then after that I started feeling it a couple times a day and then you know the week before Christmas he was really kicking a lot and then the week of Christmas goodness I swear sometimes he must kick like 30 times within a couple minutes and today I had pistachio ice cream with pickles. I know that sounds gross. I would never do the pickles and ice cream thing. I guess maybe you should try that with vanilla bean. But I um I was eating pistachios one day at work and it, I had brought my, you know, cucumbers that I sliced at home. Ha! Ah, he just kicked me. <laughs> and um, I just put them together and I was like, man, like I need to eat some pickles and pistachio ice cream like now. So I had some tonight and it was actually really good. Let me start a new video. I'll be right back.